Hello and what is good, good vibe fam? How are you doing today? It is your girl Esther Joy coming at you with another video. And on this channel, we love to talk about love, light, joy, and beats. So if you, my friend, enjoy spreading those vibrations to the bees, the trees, and knees, and my cheese, then you're in the right place, okay? So on this episode, we are going to be talking a little bit about meditation. Yay, yay, yay. Especially if you are a beginner or even someone who is experienced and, you know, do their own guided meditations. I wanted to talk about this video because I want to enhance your meditation experience, my friend. Yeah, I think this is a video I'm making not only for myself because I have realized throughout the years, I kind of feel like not that my meditation practice is lacking, but I'm not really putting in as much energy as I would like to. Not saying that you're exerting a lot of energy when you're meditating, but um, I'm quite simply not as enthusiastic as I once was about it. So I wanted to share some insights about how what I'm going to be doing to kind of up the notch of meditation that hopefully you can apply to your own meditative practice. So I wanted to start off with body positioning. Now I wake up in the morning at 5.30 and I will spend an hour until like 6.30 and that will be like my meditative time. And I'm not very strict or rigid with that um, practice. I don't really tell myself I have to be in one certain position um, in the past and a lot of the times I will meditate on my bed and I'll sit up for a while, I'll do my breathing exercises and then I will find out by the time 6.30 rolls around I'm waking up from my bed as if I, you know, didn't even like get up. Um, so with that being said, um, I'm again know that you can meditate in many ways, but I'm wanting to find a better way to work on that. So one of the things is really important and something that I'm going to be implementing a lot more of is my body position, my posture and my movement because I realize however I am appearing, my body is going to take that place. I'll start sitting up, but I'll slowly start to lie back down in my bed. So there's one of two things or two of two things I can do in this situation. One thing is to find a body position that I will program myself to associate with meditating only, okay? A lot of the times I sit cross-legged for many things. So when I'm meditating, I put my feet together almost like a butterfly, usually a little relaxed, and I'll either have my hands right on top of this, and this is like the bound angel position, butterfly position, or yeah, this is usually what I do. Back is nice and straight, and usually I'll be leaning against a wall, but we'll see about that. Now, here's the deal. You can do whatever feels good for you, but whatever position you assign to be your meditation position, only do that position when you plan on meditating. That way your body will kind of get in the zone as soon as you put your body in that position and it will know what's going on. Another thing about your body positioning is where are you meditating? I've been meditating on my bed and I have noticed that my body at that hour of the morning kind of associates sleeping more than meditating. Even if I'm sitting up in this position, it will start to kind of sway one way or the other. So instead, I'm really looking for another meditative spot that I can go to that I can assign to be my meditation spot. Now, I'm leaning towards going outside more or even just sitting on my bedroom floor like I'm doing right now and that's where I'll meditate because it's moving my body away from that programmed place of sleep to a programmed place of meditation. So that is something I'm going to implement to get my body in the zone for meditating. Okay, so now you say we're in the zone, we have our position, and you could be cross-legged, you could have your legs like this, and this is another great one. I, I really like this position as well. 
but however you choose whatever position feels comfortable for you and you designate as your default meditation um, position just get in the zone of doing that every time you meditate now we're sitting in our spot our spine is nice and straight I like to sit on a little meditation pillow that's below me and we are getting ready to meditate I like to start with my hands on my knees facing down to ground myself into this position and then when I'm ready to and I feel grounded in this position and my body knows that this is how we're beginning I'll lift up one of my hands to get ready in receiving mode. If I'm outside, I really do enjoy having one lifted up to receive the sunlight and one lifted down to ground. Okay, so moving on. We're in our position. You could be outside, you could be on the floor, wherever you are. We're getting into that mental space. What is the first thing you do when you meditate? Breath. So there are one of three things I'll do when I first starting first start my meditation practice. One thing I could do is to focus on my breath. I just get in tune with that breath. I take those conscious three really big deep breaths. Slowing the momentum, allowing myself to be present in this moment. And this is how I will always suggest, especially when I'm doing guided meditations for other people, I'll always suggest to do our breath first. This will just really allow the momentum of those past energies and mental thoughts to come to a slow. More importantly, we're using that breath to be more present in our body. The next thing I will do to bring myself more presence in my body is I will do a body scan. Now, the more you do body scans, the easier it is for your awareness to flow from the top of your head down to the tip of your toes. When you first start, you might find a body scan being a bit difficult, especially if you are doing this without any guided help, as you will find your mind to wander away from your body a lot. And I have I've been doing pretty good with it. So starting from the top of my head, emerging from my crown chakra, if you imagine a bright clear ball of awareness right above your head, and that bright clear ball of awareness, make it feel as good as possible. You can, while you are meditating, think, I feel so relaxed. This clear ball is just bringing clarity, focus, awareness and relaxation to me as it passes and phases through my body. Thinking something like that is generally how I'll begin my body scan process. Once I've established this clear ball of awareness from the top of my head, I'll slowly allow it to merge within my body. And almost like a scanner, I'll just allow myself to think of each section of my body as I progress down. If I forget a section of my body, like say I forget my eyes and my nose, but I'm now at my neck, I will not go back. Um, I'll just acknowledge that they are also all being relaxed at the same time. Just thinking of it as a one big sweeping motion. Don't be worried if you miss a spot, you can always do another body scan going from the bottom up. And that's what I will usually do next. So we'll do a nice body scan going down all the way to the bottom of my body, down to the soles of my feet, the tips of my toes. And once I get to the tips of my toes, I'll pause for a moment. I'll be very thankful for the body scan I've just done. And it will go something like this. I feel a bright, clear ball around the top of my head. I can feel it glow. And now I allow this glowing clear ball to disperse as it clears through my whole body, scanning downwards evenly and smoothly, and just allowing myself to be present with this sensation. As this awareness passes through every cell in my body, 
I allow myself to relax and feel good. And as I allow myself to relax and feel good, I am exhilarated, I am energized, and I am happy and content. When I get to the bottom of the soles of my feet, I pause here and I say the Reiki principles. Just for today, I will not worry. Just for today, I will not anger. Just for today, I will do my work fully and honestly. Just for today, I will be thankful for all of the blessings in my life. And just for today, I will treat every living being with kindness. After I have meditated on these sayings for around 30 seconds or so, um, I will then go from the tips of my feet, the tips of my toes, and I will pretend like that bright light awareness that I used in the beginning of the scanning is now filling my body completely. And so from the tips of my toes to the soles of my feet, I'll feel that bright light and I'll almost envision my body becoming this bright, clear body of light. And this is really the exhilarating part. Now I start from the soles of my feet and I work my way up rather quickly. I go from my toes, my soles, then the base of my feet to my ankles, my ankles to my shins and my calves to my knees, my knees to my thighs, my thighs to the base of my spine, the base of my spine. Now I go from chakra to chakra upwards, allowing each chakra to envelop every aspect of my being. And I rise all the way up to the top where then I will shoot that ray of light up to my soul star. Now, when I do this, I actually hold my breath during the whole duration. So I hold my breath for around three and a half minutes. I've been doing an average for the past two months. And I'll just hold my breath and I'll spend around a minute and a half doing a downward body scan. I'll spend around 30 seconds repeating the Reiki principles. And then I will do another minute going up if that equals 33 second, um, three, three minutes and 30 seconds. I don't know. But yeah, so I don't recommend you try that at first unless you really feel led to hold your breath to help your concentration be more in the present moment. It has really helped me with my concentration, but... <sighs> Starting off with the just meditation and doing some very big deep breaths, seeing how long you can draw each breath is also very powerful and will calm your mind and center it. So now that I've kind of shared with you my whole kind of meditative uh, practice, I wanted to just show an example, a little example of what it would look like. I usually, when I do this, I do the Wim Hof method for breathing and I'll take 30 rather fast exhalations and inhalations. So I'll go and I'll do that 30 times. On the 30th one, I'll hold my breath and I'm holding my breath. I'll feel that ball of light. That ball of light, it is accumulating and it is growing and it is warming and it is relaxing me. From the top of my head, I can feel the warmth and the heat and the relaxation. I will allow myself to calm down and embrace every cell in my body as I wipe over it with a relaxing awareness, allowing myself to move smoothly and gracefully down my body. And the more you practice this awareness, the more you'll be aware of your body throughout the day, which has really helped me keep in tap with my health, how I'm feeling, the tension within, and everything like that. Now as I travel down to the base of my spine, to my knees, my shins, my ankles, my feet, and my toes, down to the soles of my feet, I feel that bright light now accumulating there. And from here, we can repeat the Reiki principles. Allow yourself to be fully present. If you feel a thought of the past days, if you feel a thought about the future situations, 
allow yourself to bring back into this present moment where all of the power and possibilities lie. I love, absolutely love bringing my awareness and presence into this present moment. Okay, so yeah, this was a crazy video, but I really am thankful that I was able to do this, um, show you guys and a little insights about my meditation practice, what I do every morning and how it has helped me and uh, what it kind of looks like. I hope that this inspired you to make your own meditation practice and exercise that you can do daily. And especially if you're a beginner watching this, then starting off with it just doing around three minute a day meditation exercise is very, very powerful. It is not about the duration of the meditation, but it is always about the consistency, coming back to it day by day. You don't want to tire yourself out or your mental mind in the beginning by trying to meditate for a prolonged period of time that will kind of just strain you possibly more than can be. But every body is different and everyone will find an exercise and a practice that will work best for them by just simply experimenting with the silence. So I really do encourage you to do this first thing in the morning before you have any excuses. Not only will this help clear your mind for the whole day, but it will also give you greater insights on how you wish to proceed with your day. And I personally love doing it in the morning before anyone can say anything to me or before I can even go on my phone because it gives me a greater look into within myself and to cultivate my own personal energy. So without further ado, I am so thankful that you took the time to watch this video and know that this information will apply to you and you will become a master meditator. So without further ado, press the like button if you like this video and let me know in the comments down below how long do you meditate and what does your meditation practice look like? I would love to know. I love connecting to you in the comments down below and without further ado, namaste. Yay!